What's up guys, this is Lucky from NecroGuides.com and today I'm doing a gun guide on the USP silencer. So like most of my gun guides, I will have a part one which will go over everything you need to know about the pistol itself. Uh, bullets, recoil control, uh, when to use it, how to use it, uh, spots to play on what maps, I'll go over that a little bit um, in this video, like I can give you like a scenario or something like that. But um, that's pretty much it and then for part two, I will show you how to use what I just said in part one. So I'll show you uh, its weaknesses against the bots that'll play in the server, its strengths, um, bursting, tapping, spraying. I mean, you can, I guess it's a spray, I don't know. It's not really called a spray, it's just a significant uh, speed increase on my, my tap. But uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So I'll get us started right on it. Um, so pretty much the silencer was introduced about last year, I would say, uh, August. And some people use it, some people don't. Um, it's really a matter of preference. Uh, like I said, it only has 36 bullets, so if you're one of those people that always like to challenge others and just consistently fight, like peak mid or something like that, it kind of isn't really for you. Um, because the chances are that you'll run out of bullets before the round ends. So, but if you're the type of passive player who just likes spotting things and just you know, jiggle peeking at a corner or something, uh, shooting a bullet and then falling back and waiting for your team, then yeah, the gun is for you. And you'll you'll have um, a lot more bullets left at the end of the round, which can really make or break it. Uh, like if you're in a 1v1 and run out of bullets, you're, you're kind of screwed. But anyways, so burst or tapping with this gun. Um, like every other pistol, it's generally just the same. Um, your bullets just always go where your crosshair is. There's really no like sky, like you, you shoot a bullet and your pistol goes to the sky or whatever. Um, as well as running while shooting, like every other pistol, it's always also the same. It has a really, really uh, accurate uh, or accuracy while you're running. Um, so that's pretty much the two main points. Like I said, uh, every pistol is generally the same. There's really no, um, really no difference between them. But the USP does have a slight difference in that uh, the silencer makes it really, really weak long range. Uh, of course, you can like always headshot a guy and you know do 40 or 50 damage, whatever it is. But you really don't want to rely on that too much because, like I said, you have really really low amount of bullets. So that's its number one weakness. Its number two weakness is that spraying or shooting really really quickly with it isn't as effect as effective as you think. Um, this gun is really meant for close range because at close range you can one shot somebody. Uh, but at a farther distance, it really isn't as effective as you think. So, something like this against somebody really, really long range, you don't want to do. Uh, um, the P2000, the 5.7, they're really, really strong when you're shooting uh, really, really fast. But this gun isn't. I've, ha I've had uh, mixed results, kind of. Like, I wouldn't really say mixed. Um, it's been worse than good uh, while shooting this gun. So, I'm a P2000 user, but... Anyways, you just want to generally just tap as as slowly as accurate as possible. You don't want to give um, your enemy a chance to, to like run out and shoot you. You just want to just relax and just take your time while shooting it because if you don't take your time, you're probably going to die uh, and then you're probably going to run out of bullets, uh, which I keep really, really like um, saying, but that's, that's the whole point of this gun guide is because... There are, there are times where you're going to need all the bullets you can get when you're retaking a sight, especially as a CT, because this gun is only a CT side pistol. So you always want to try to conserve your ammo. Um, so I'll probably uh, stop talking about its bullets because I've, I've said it like five or ten times now. But anyways, um, that's pretty much it for the first part of this video. Uh, next part I'll show you um, how the techniques I just said and the techniques I say don't do work against the bots in place in the server. So thanks for watching the first part of the video. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you the second part of this video. I will be playing against you know the three bots that I've added and I'll show you um, how spraying works, how uh, tapping works, and how you know just running while shooting works and stuff like that. Um, these bots do have head armor I think, so I'm pretty sure they do. Stand still. Yeah, they do have head armor. So um, you'll get I mean, it won't be as accurate as like a pistol round or something like that, but you guys can get the, the whole point of what I'm trying to do. So, first I'm going to start off with this bot. Um, I'm just going to just tap at his head. Okay, that guy had like one health. 
So it took two dinks and probably two more bullets to kill that guy. So generally around four bullets with two dinks is what uh, is what you're gonna get at a farther distance. And now this is why this gun is really really weak long range. I just probably wasted an entire clip shooting that guy. While if I played a really much or played a really closer angle, he wouldn't have. Um, I wouldn't have wasted so many bullets. And the gun, like I said, is really weak at far distances. I don't have any success with it at all. That's why I switched to the P2000 and my aim is really bad. But like I said, you don't want to do that. So now at a closer distance, let's say like this, the gun is really good. Um, please stand still. Okay. So the gun isn't bad at closer distances because um, in a pistol round where your opponent only has uh, light armor instead of head armor, it's a one-shot kill. Um, so, let's say you're playing B on Dust 2 or something like that as a CT, and you're playing like a close angle just watching the tunnels, and if they just run into your crosshair and you end up shooting them in the head, they're gonna die because the gun is a one-shot kill. Um, and two bullets it takes for the dink. So, at uh, close distances, you really do wanna want to try to just aim for the head. Well, you should try that anyways, and I keep saying that, but um, the gun does work and it does get, grant you these one shot kills uh, much like a knock or an AK or something like that but now I'm gonna spray at this guy from this farther, farther range and you're gonna see why I don't like the gun uh, especially when you're tapping really really fast see right there it took me 12 bullets to kill a CT or to kill the enemy when I could have um, not wasted as many bullets and just take my time shooting at him really really slowly and there I wasted probably around seven or eight bullets I really didn't count I just guessed off the top of my head but that's what you want to do with the gun because if you're spraying like this you're not gonna have any results um, you're just really relying on luck and that'll probably not get you anywhere uh, you want to always um, be as calm as possible when you're shooting people, especially in high pressure situations like a clutch or something. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really don't have any much anything else to say. Um, my other gun guides are up on pistols, so if you want to like learn different things I do for other pistols, you can check it out on Echo Guides. But that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching this video. This is Lucky from EchoGuides.com. More content like this for myself or other pros, please go to EchoGuides.com. Thanks.